Hey guys, what's up? Lord Mitra again here, your Lord of Video Games, and welcome to another episode of Shining Resonance Refrain. Last time, we were led into a trap by Lustin. But, it turned out to be all good, and it was all for good, I think. Uh, anyway, you know how Lustin is. I want to know more about him. Anyway, we arrived here back at Margan. We have a bunch of quests. Some to complete, some to do. What I'm going to do is complete the ones that I took and check if there are any new ones with those that are right there. If none of them are new, I will not take them on because they're just going to be repeats and I'm kind of tired of repeating the same quest. If they're unique, I will do them. Anyway, I'll meet you guys in a bit. Yuma, you're still awake? Mind if I hang out with you for a little? Sure, I don't mind at all. Hey, Marion, do you want an orange? An orange? Yeah, Farbaj gave me some today. You want to split one? Huh? Do you not like oranges? No, I like them, but if I eat one now, I'll have to brush my teeth again. <laughs> okay. Oh, I hadn't thought that far ahead. Unforgivable. That's not good. Cavities are really scary. If you eat something, you have to brush your teeth before you go to bed. And was telling me how people who don't brush their teeth before bed get visited by an evil fairy called a cavity. If it makes your tooth hurt all day, all night, and then you have no choice but to pull the tooth out. Yeah, huh. I've heard him say that too. I'm pretty sure she just made up that part about evil fairies so Primla would pay more attention. But I guess it works. Even Joaquin barely ever, ever pulled teeth. Sounds awful. I don't want it to happen to me. Yeah, that would be scary. Why don't we have the orange tomorrow then? Yeah, I think it would be better. I'm going to bed now. Good night. Okay, good night. I'll see you again I tomorrow. thought this was going to be an event that I had to pick. Ah, come on. Good evening. Good evening, Yuma. Do you mind if we talk for a little? Not at all. I'd be happy to talk about anything What that's on your mind. Rina is your attendant, right? Has she always been with you? I see. Yes, she has been by my side since we were children. She is one of the few people I know I can trust. You do seem very close if we include less than. You're like family of three. A family? Well, my brother would be the eldest, but between me and Rina, who would be the eldest sister? You, Kirika? Right? Huh? Um... You would be the older sister. Right? That's not here! That's not here! Uh... Oh yeah, I just found it. Uh, you know, it's... Doesn't matter. <laughs> that makes sense. I suppose I am more level-headed than Rina, so that makes me the logical choice. Although, if I think about everything she does for you, maybe Rina is the older sister after a- Yuma, do not change your answer. Take responsibility for your choices. Uh, okay. <laughs> you have such a strange look on your face, Yuma. Either answer would have been fine. Rina's like family to me. I'm sure she'd be happy to hear that. Yes, she probably would. Although, I can also imagine Rina insisting that she's the older sister. I'm going to check on Rina before I sleep. Please excuse- Oh, I'm going to check on Rina before I sleep. Please excuse me, Yuma. Sure. Good night, Kirika. I'll excuse myself. Good night. Evening. Hey, you. Wanna talk for a bit? Sure, I'm always happy to talk to you, Rina. There were noises around here earlier. 
Any idea what's going on? Oh, that? A bunch of cats were gathering around here. It sounded like they were fighting. I think they're all gone now, though. It seemed like there were a lot of them. Maybe seven or eight. But cats don't have packs. Do they? I wonder why they were all together. Hmm... All right, we'd have to ask them. That's true. I'll ask them next time I see them. Huh? Wait, Rina. You can talk to cats? Yuma! Yuma! Mm. Uh, or is this uh, just another joke? <laughs> Come on, it's too easy. You're just gullible enough to be cute. Cats are so carefree. I want to be born as a cat in my next life. Want to be cat. Okay. Thank you. I think you're pretty carefree as it is, but you'd make a good cat. <laughs> well, when I come back as a kitten, you better take care of me. Night, Yuma. Yeah, night. night. So little old me is going to take care of you. All right. That makes perfect sense, Rina. Thank you. Alright, so, we have completed a few quests, grabbed a few quests. Like all these, we... Some of these we grabbed, some of these are new, some of these are old. I don't remember who... Who got... Oh, Captain Burroughs, and Burroughs is... In bed. I'm still missing one harmonic stone, just one. He requires a demon fruit. I got Emma's glasses, and I still haven't been able to repair them. 30 combos. Need some more Sharon waters. Crack skulls. I need to go to the old tree shrine. Uh, I still need the giants. I need to do a lot of things, but let's just head forward. I also tried all the dates, as you saw. No more dates, no more affection at the moment, so let's see what the story has for us. They're all up and at him. That's a bit much, isn't it? No. Let her be, Majesty. I'm sure the princess feared we might never wake up. I think she's earned her tears. That's true. Well, I, I'm not crying. You're red. <laughs> what a relief, huh, Sonia? I am relieved to see you both in better health. You've earned my thanks. You defeated Excella and her Draco Machina. And saved our country. Of course, your majesty. We all owe you a great debt. It's not a problem. And Sonia, <laughs> heir of the storm, hey? Well done indeed. <laughs> I never doubted that you were worthy of that blade. I'm so proud of you. Aww. Thank you, father. I'm happy for you, Sonia. <laughs> Thinking of father. <laughs> she got another trait. They're getting traits left and right. Your Majesty. L Leston! I'm still upset at you. You're still cool, but I'm still upset at you. Whoa, Leston? What's up? You here for the get well party too? No, I summoned him. We need to start planning for the future. Now? But father, you still need rest. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't worry, Sonya. I couldn't push these old bones too far, even if I wanted to. Could you even push them? But I'm not so far gone that I can't attend a war council. I can't stand on a battlefield like this. But it's important that we have a plan for the days to come. One that requires Sir Leston. He is powerful. Precisely. Now's the time to decide our next move. Bing. Right. There's the other two world dragon souls, and the shining dragon with Yuma. Mm -hmm. As long as the Empire still needs them, this war will go on. Yes. <clears throat> They're fighting over the Shining Dragon. Yuma? What's wrong? He's thinking. Let him think. The man think. Come on. Oh, I was just wondering what I should do. The Empire wants the Shining Dragon. He's with me, so they'll probably attack the city again looking for him. Eh, I don't blame me for thinking about it. In that case... Maybe it'd be better if I was gone. Don't think that. Whoa, what the hell, man? Where'd that come from? 
Yeah, don't think like that. Exactly. Thank you. Yuma, you wish to leave Marga? If that's for the best. If it's for the sake of the people here. Hmm. Then I'm afraid I cannot approve it. <laughs> what? Denied. You have fought alongside the Dragoneers and protected this city countless times. You are Astoria's savior. We are all in your debt. You would have us forget this debt. How could we cast you out to save ourselves? Your Majesty. But if you truly want nothing more to do with us, I will not hold you here against your will. Oh, he's throwing the pity card at him. No, not at all. I... I love the people of this city. I've been alone ever since my mom died. But my friends and the people here all accepted me. And that's good. Living here, it was the first time I felt like I really belonged. I see. As this land's king, I am glad you've come to love it as we do. Of course, Your, Your Majesty. Ma, I would ask that you stay with us in Astoria. I want you by our side as we move forward. Your Majesty, I understand. I just started worrying and spoke without thinking. I'm sorry. It's okay, Yuma. I'll keep fighting for everyone. Yes. Sheesh, Yuma. Got us all worked up. Exactly, right? What hey, is he uh, thinking? Glad Yuma got that off his chest, but we should probably get back to business. What do we do now? Uh, good question. Right. I think we should keep looking for the souls of the world dragons like we've been doing. Oh, yeah, the soul dragons, yes. We have to find the dragon souls that the Empire hasn't gotten to. But we have no leads. You have some idea where they are then? Nope. We're looking for ruins. More accurately, shrines that the High Elves built to preserve the dragon souls. Less than? Any ideas? However, we haven't encountered any clues lately. Hmm. Ruins. I believe my soldiers did report something of the sort. Yes. I sincerely hope that this isn't another ruse. Yeah, I hope so too, man. For your own sake, or else I'm cutting that ponytail off. You really needn't glare at me like that, Kirika. I took no joy in deceiving you. <laughs> so what's this report say? Right. According to my scouts, there's an oddly shaped ruin out in the old desert. Hmm. It seems a large number of dragon souls were excavated from the area in the past. Ordinary hmm. dragon souls, mind you. I'm afraid I can't guarantee the presence of a world dragon proper. Well, might as well check it out. I see. Well, it does seem worthy of investigation. Brother, can you tell us where these ruins are? Of course. Let me draw up a map. Okay. Hold, Sir Lestin. I have one more request as King of Astoria. Yes, Your Majesty? I am yours to command. Might I ask that you join Sonia and her group? You would have me accompany them? Yes. Our soldiers are focused on defending the city, and the Knights of Welland cannot risk any grand maneuvers now. What we need right now is not an army, but a small, mobile task force. Hmm. I ask that you lend us your aid. Not as captain of the Knights of Welland, but as a Dragoneer. What say you? I welcome him, but if he tries anything funny, that ponytail's getting chopped off. I would be loath to refuse a personal request from the king, but I have a duty to my squad. Brother, please. I've told you before, there are other capable knights who can take command in your stead. Mm -hmm. A captain's role can be delegated, brother, but a dragoneer's cannot. You can help us in ways that no one else can. Please. Come on, sir. sir uh, I suppose that's not than? true. And I have a duty to watch over both you and Yuma. Hmm. Decisions and decisions, you're decided to come with your little sister, right? Hmm. Well, I suppose a map won't be necessary if I'm taking you there myself. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. So then, Sir Leston? Yes. From here on, I shall lend my assistance as a dragoneer. Thank you. Brother, thank you. All right, we got Leston into the party. Let's go. Leston, join the party. But, uh, what? Uh, oh, Bur Burroughs is out. Here you go, Burroughs. I completed this quest. There you go. Thank you for the dragon horn. Um, uh, let me check these quests out. You. 
What is it? Do you have business with me? No, not really. You just have that grim look on your face. I was just thinking about the environment and what will happen if we continue to fight. I also have a tendency to care about nature. That may be why Rina rolls flowers. It's her own personal way of protecting nature. I got lost in thought wondering how I can do my part. Then why don't you try whatever you were thinking about now? I see. Instead of worrying, we should act. Very well. Can I count on your assistance? It's a quest! Okay. I thought this was the action event. Yeah, here we go. Quest complete. I already had done that. Gathered it. Healing Echo, thank you. I have a question for you, Yuma. I have arrived at a momentary of peace. Time of peace, in the midst of war. As a warrior, what do you think is the most important at a time like this? Resting. Yes, that is correct. As a warrior, regaining your strength and preparing for the next battle is your most important duty. Perhaps you aren't as unreliable as I thought. Look forward to seeing how you grow in the future. Thank you, Leston. And you, we get a C score! Nice! Oh, Yuma, sorry. I was thinking about something. Yeah, I'm worried about my father. He's conscious now, but his wounds am fully recovered. I hope he feels better soon. He'll get better in no time. No, it was... Uh, we have to stay strong. Ugh! Yes, he's being cared for by a skilled doctor, so I'm sure he'll get better in no time. Oh, my God. I was being pessimistic. I'm okay now. God. Oh, I am screwing Sonia up so much. I am... T oh, my God. God, I'm not raising her affection anytime soon. Oh my god, I've screwed up twice on Sonia. Twice. I get, what's the point of he, me having this list here? Of the the what the answers if I'm just gonna oh my God. I'm just gonna Oh my I I I I I I, I give up. With Master Lesson with us, we have nothing to fear. Lady Kirika must be relieved to have him with us. It might not seem like it, but Lady Kirika depends on Master Leston. That's what I thought. Right? Yes. I'm so stupid. Yep, she denies it, but she does. That's just the way she is. Oh, don't tell Master Leston. If he found out, he would freak out with joy. I don't blame him. And Magic Nectar. Oh my god, I'm so upset, man. Give me a flower. Thank you. God. How do how do I screw that up? What is it? It's you. How is King Albert's condition? He truly holds the favor of his people. Santa looks so devastated as well. Another pain of seeing your father confined to the bed. Is there anything I can do for her? Why don't we think of something together? You would help me think of something? I am grateful for your consideration. And that would be reassuring, since you are close to them. I think we will come up with some good ideas. And we got an elixir. Do you want to spend the night? Of course not. Ah, uh, I still have to work so much on Exola. Okay, we are getting a lesson tutorial even though we're not using him. It's a Dragonair who uses Spear, Thankflot. He's a well-rounded character who excels in physical and magical attacks and healing. Hmm. His break attack is a lunge that is capable of hitting multiple times. Whoa. Trailering your enemies and attack them all at once, they lined up. That's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. But I'm already leveled up Yuma to like level 50, so uh, yeah. What's wrong, Kirika? I send so many dragon souls. I may have difficulty locating one that belongs to a world dragon. Don't lose focus. The ruins are this way, if we assume there is a world dragon soul here. Does it not give off an aura much stronger than that other dragon souls? Yes, it does. Then let us make our way there. 
Ah, so there is, but it's... this is... Oh boy. I'm gonna show new battles, which I think... This is... yeah, this is a new battle. Hellhounds. This is neat, you guys haven't seen this, but it's like level 34, so we're just completely destroying them. They're a lot, wow, but they're done. <laughs> just like that. Ah, there's a chest here. Genius. This chest has... A bloody claw. Yes. Enemy approaching. Yes. And this monster is new. A grand smasher. Yes, a new type. That is just completely getting obliterated. And there's the break. And done. I don't have to even explode. Good job, guys. So I can't find any other chests and there is nothing else. What is this? This is a ruby crystal. We have not seen this one. Risky encounter. Okay, it was trying to run away and it's a risky encounter. That makes sense. Alright, and done. As I was saying, we're going to go to the event marker and see what is in store for us. Thank you. 3 EXP we earned from that. Really, it was a risky encounter. So a ship. These are the ruins from the report. A ship. These? It looks more like a ship than ruins. Thank you. You're right. But this is <sighs> What? What? What's wrong, Kirika? Do you sense something? Is it a world dragon soul? No. I can feel the presence of a powerful dragon, but... It's alive. I think it's a Draco Machina. Oh, that's not good. Not good. What do we do? Everyone keep quiet or it will surely find us. We need somewhere to hide. Okay. Then let's hide in the ship. It's the only option we've got. She's right. Quickly now. Quickly. All right, let's go. Quietly. Shh. Shh. Whisper. Huh. I didn't expect it to be so well preserved. Hmm. Quiet. The dragon is coming. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It stopped. It stopped right in front of us, too. It stopped really, really close by. Looks like Princess Excella was right on the mark. No sign of a big army passing through here. I knew it. Still, I can't go back empty-handed after she went to the trouble of lending me one of the Draco Machina. Okay, Gugnir. Let's poke around a little more and see if we can turn up any clues. Oh boy, it's Beatrice and Gugnir. That is not a good combo I want to face. They're gone. It seemed like they were searching for someone. I wonder who. One of the dragon souls, duh. It doesn't sound like it was us. Uh, Rena? What are you doing? Just give me a sec. I think I found something. Ah, ha! Got it. <laughs> what did you find? Okay. We're in a desert! Why didn't you expect it to be dusty? You're an idiot! Bubblehead! A book? Do you think there's anything in there we could use? Well, we can't know until we crack it open, so... Let's see. Hmm. This could be something big! What? It's some kind of historical record of the High Elves, from right around Ragnarok. Ooh. Okay. Ragnarok? Is this ship really that old? Could be. I see. Then this vessel must be high elven in origin. The craftsmanship. I suppose that would explain how it's somehow still intact. Wow. 
Were the High Elves really that amazing? Undoubtedly. They fought alongside the World Dragons themselves, after all. They were an incredibly advanced civilization. Far more so than the Elves of Modern Welland. Hmm. Then there could be some valuable information in there. Rinna, could you take a look? Of course! Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, it's definitely about Ragnarok. But I'm not sure there's anything in here that we don't already know. Hold on. Yes. What? There's a map. This is Mount Glancio. What? There are markings in the inside of the mountain. Looks like a cave? And there might be a little shrine here. So let's go there. So there is a shrine in that cave. A shrine that isn't common knowledge. Hmm. Hey, Kirika. You thinking what I'm thinking? Let's go explore it. Precisely. This may be the lead on the world dragons we've been searching for. Mm hmm Right. This map might tell us exactly where the next dragon soul is. Let's go check it out. All right. Let's go do that. Fine. A uh, new section, but uh, <laughs> monsters we've all fought them before. We've been spotted. At least these that are that I'm seeing right now. And if they want to go, that's fine. But oh, there's a new one here. Mass Ranger? Yep. Oh, there's quite a bit. And I've uh, equipped most of my party members with other stuff, so I'm gonna be hitting a little harder. Ooh, there's a dragon here. I think this is the last yes. one we need. Yep, the Flare Dragon. This is the last one we need for the quest. Alright, so you're going down. It's already... Jeez. Alright, there we go. Come on, Yuma. Ah. Oh. It's so hard to do combos like this. And with that, we completed the quest. And there's a bunch of monsters. So, I'll show you guys if there's anything interesting like always. I sense it. There is a world dragon soul here. Are you sure? Of course. The world dragon soul is that way. Looks like we hit the jackpot. Quick, let's get going. Soul Raider. Okay. Anyway, in the last section, there was nothing new. Just what I showed you guys. That was it. There was no treasures. Anyway, this is a brand new area with blaster shells. All right. So new monster here. This is so awkward, this spot. I'm just in the middle here. Okay, there we go. Easily. Like always, new things I'll show. First one here is Magic Apple. All right, new bird, Simurg. Like most of the others, I already battled this one because, uh, the grimoire, but, you know, gotta show it off. But this chest has... I'm tempting fate right now. Malicious trait. All right. ah, leave, 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 leave. I don't even want to get close to that. There's the Empire soldiers here. The Imperials here. Let's find another way. Okay. So not this way. Okay, so this way. Then past the... Okay, past the... Okay, okay. Oh, there's a shiny here, so let's grab that. Yes. Past the save point and... Camp and let's go into the Lost Tundra. Logos Tundra? Lost Tundra? I don't know. Logos Tundra. Yep, Logos Tundra. Tundra, Blue Cavern. Alright, like always, show you if anything interesting. Well, I don't have to go much. Oh, never mind, it's on the other side. Great. 
Oh, there's another new enemy. That just mosquito that dies that quick. Ice crystals? Or light crystals, my apologies. Nope. Denied. I thought it was ice crystal, but nope. Light crystals. They don't look very light crystals to me. There we go. Easy. They're just breezing through these enemies. Look at us go. Ah, there's a shiny here. Don't forget to pick up the shinies, guys. Oh, there's a lot of materials you could get for these quests. Oh, but over here we have a chest that contains gigantic fist. There's a gargoyle here. These are new because we have the statues. Oh, there we go. That I just like hit him real quick. It was a shiny here. Yep. Grab that. Harmonix Tome. And with that, we have completed the quest. Right? We completed this one. This quest, too. No such thing it goes. We still need that one. We completed this one. Randomly. Lost Technology. There we go. 19 combo. Yikes. Ghost Bones. Uh, these are a few quests that I got from, uh... That's a lot. So, yeah. And we have a treasure chest over here. And in there... Trait Idol. I mean, yes. I... Everyone should have had that trait because of the... Outfits, but okay. Even though the outfits didn't give that trait, but okay. Get these things out of the way. Why are they so in... So... Oh, we gotta fight them! We got this! No, your bugs. Get out of my sight. Right. Over here. Let's get hey, that soul. Seth, there's something fishy here. What? Fishy? See this bump? I've read Neanderson's Guide to Labyrinths cover to cover, and if I remember right, a bump like this is usually so the labyrinth's master can keep track of where hidden doors are. Okay. What was that? Dragon souls gotta be inside. Let's go. All right. You really know a lot about ruins. Ruin geek. <laughs> All right. Let's go forward. Hopefully this doesn't take long. Cause yeah. <laughs> This looks like one of the World Dragon Sanctums. There's got to be a soul around here. Jackpot! Ooh, found an inscription. Looks like this is the Shrine of the Dark Dragon. Oh, all right. The Dark Dragon. Its power was said to rival even the Shining Dragon. Really? Whoa, awesome. Come on, Kirika. Let's grab the Dragon Soul and get out. It's never going to be that easy, is it? Everything okay, Kirika? Something's wrong. I can sense a world dragon soul, but it's not coming from inside the shrine. What? All I know is that it's somewhere nearby. Hmm? Show yourself. Genus? Genus? Genus, my bad. I always mispronounce your name. What the hell are you doing here? I presume you came here for one of the world dragons, but I'm afraid you're too late. Why? It's him. He has the soul. I can sense it. Oh. Hmm. I didn't know a diva magica had that kind of perception. In any case, you are right. I have one of the world dragon souls. Give it. Be a good boy and give it. That's where the dark dragon soul went. Can you give it to us? What do you plan on doing with it? Uh. We have to protect it from the Empire. Yes, exactly. Thank you. It doesn't seem to me that you can. After all, the Sky Dragon slipped through your fingers during the attack on your capital. Uh... How do you know that? 
If I gave it to you, the Empire would simply take it at their first opportunity. I see little point in letting you have it. Ninas, come on, a little bit more faith. We won't make that mistake again. Right, guys? Uh... Gee, thanks for the backup, Agnum. What? You could always take it by force. At least, you can try. Then let's do it. Let's Except take it by force. Play? Fine, I'm game. Let's do this. We could have done this the easy way. Don't blame us, pal, but you're gonna get stomped. Yep. Dark hero, Agnum's trait. All right. Come at us, genus. Oh my god. Level 51. Oh, we're all... Well, we are already with you. Oh, you don't hurt that bad. Oh, well, never mind. You're hurting pretty bad. Never mind. Can you stay still, Genus? Please? Stop going back. This mother fluffer. Stay still. He's so scurry. He's like a mouse. Come on. Imagine if I was fighting him normally. He has resonance? All right. Hit it. Come on. He's so close. Hit him. There we go. Oh my god. Whoo. Let's go. Shining score. Good job, guys. What's wrong, Genus? That's enough. Yeah. What? The hell it is! You don't get to tell us when it's over. Back off, Agnum. Chill. Or are you giving up? Because if you want to hand over the Dark Dragon, you can still walk away from this. Impossible. I don't possess the soul of the Dark Dragon. Huh? What? You just said you had it. Yeah. No, wait. All he admitted was that he had one of the World Dragons. So maybe... Oh. Correct. I have the soul of the Sea Dragon. I found it in a different ruin. Oh. When I came for the soul of the Dark Dragon, it was already gone. What? Damn it. So you were just talking around us the entire time? Deceptive phrasing. I apologize. That's true. Why did you mislead us? I wanted to see Yuma's power with my own eyes. Oh, so that was your go. I wanted to see how he did what I could not. What? What do you mean? <gasps> what? You were the first boy that destroyed the village that had the power of the shining dragon, right? What's the connection between you and Yuma? I feel like that's what's going on right now. The shining dragon. Yes. This man, Genus, was once the vessel for the shining dragon. I called it. His radiance? Then before when you said someone destroyed a village, Indeed. Oh. One responsible stands before you. Oh. Genus. Mm. Yuma, I want to ask you something. Sure, ask me. What? How were you able to control the power of the Shining Dragon? How did you keep from losing yourself to the madness? Well, because I heard a song. A song? Yeah, I heard all my friends singing. It was such a soothing melody. It was like they were calling out to me. Mm. I could hear all their thoughts through the music. That's how I remembered. I couldn't let myself hurt them. Or the people. I was so desperate to hold myself back. I told myself over and over I couldn't let them get hurt. I couldn't let them die. Thanks to that, I managed to calm the Shining Dragon's power. Good job. I see. So that's the key. Mm-hmm. A song. 
So the song really is the path to the truth. I'm still curious about this last song. Genus, Yuma, I come to you with a warning. As the previous vessel of the Shining Dragon. As a man who's made terrible mistakes. You will be pulled into a war that has been raging since time immemorial. Yeah. Time immemorial? Yes. And when the final hour of this war draws near, you will be the one to decide its outcome. Oh, thank you. Remember that. Farewell. Farewell, Genus. Genus. Uh, Genus! He's gone. Who does that guy think he is? Just spouts a bunch of cryptic crap and then leaves? Brother, how did you know? Yeah. About him and the Shining Dragon? I was told of them a long time ago. Oh. Who did you hear it from? From my master Elise, a wise sage. Your mother, Yuma. I knew it! I called it, guys! I knew it! Didn't I call like two episodes ago? I called it. No, uh, last episode. Yeah, I called this! My mom? I knew it! I told you guys. Probably his father was a human and his mom was the elf and the elf was his master. And I knew it! That's right. This is the story that Master Elise told me. Elise. When the Shining Dragon raged out of control, Master Elise felt a great surge of power and came to investigate. When she arrived at the source, she found the village completely decimated. Not a trace of life remained, except for one lone boy. At the center of all the destruction, she found Genus standing there, locked in place. No. Oh. <sighs> he was already a grown man. I have taken the Shining Dragon's soul from you. He dwells within me now. You'll be all right. Who are you? I am a Dragoneer. One who wields an harmonic and communes with dragons. What? Commune with dragons? You're saying you can control that power? No, I am not so capable. I imagine the Shining Dragon's power is far beyond the control of any mortal. But I'll still fight to suppress it. That is my duty. Whoa. His mom was pretty cool then. Why? Turn out like this. Is this really the only thing we could accomplish together? The Shining Dragon and I. Do we only bring tragedy? Genus. Maybe, maybe not. That's not a question I can answer for you. But if you keep searching, if you search for the true reason that you and the Shining Dragon came together, then maybe you will find an answer. You may find a reason beyond tragedy. Hmm. Wow. Well. After that, Master Elise left Genus there. But there was one thing she didn't account for. And that was? What do you mean? What didn't my mom account for? It was you, Yuma. Huh? Me? Yes. Though she did not know it at the time. Master Elise was already carrying you. Oh! And so, when she drew the soul from Genus, the Shining Dragon was not passed to her, but to you. What? I never knew. Master Elise didn't realize her mistake until after you were born. She was so desperate to transfer the soul back to herself, but she couldn't, no matter how she tried. What? By then, I believe your newborn soul had already merged with that of the dragon. You two had become one. Oh. Master Elise had no choice but to use that choker to suppress the Shining Dragon's power. So that was when she gave me this. Mom. Aww. Hmm. Something still doesn't add up. That being what? If Yuma's mom took the Shining Dragon's soul, and then Yuma got it, that means Genus doesn't have it anymore, right? Yeah. So he's just a normal human now, isn't he? How is he so strong? I figured he had some mystic hidden power or something. I would not say he's a normal human. He still retains vestiges of the Shining Dragon's own power. Oh. Translation? All world dragons were initially born as abstractions, not physical beings. 
their forms manifested by the will of nature. The world dragon's power arises from the ambient energies of the world gathering and condensing around their souls. Genus's soul was ultimately parted from that of the shining dragon, yet the converted draconic energies still lingered. That is likely the source of his incredible strength. Indeed, it would also explain why he barely seems to have aged. That explains. I see. But how did Genus get the Shining Dragon in the first place? That's a good question. I'm afraid I'm unclear on the details. But Genus's home village, the one he destroyed, was near some ancient ruins. It's likely these ruins contain the sanctum meant for the Shining Dragon, and its soul was slumbering there. Then at some point, Genus discovered the ruins and became the vessel for the Shining Dragon. Or so it was told to me. Hmm. Hey, guys. Yeah? What's up, Marion? Genus's past is interesting and all, but shouldn't we be following him? Uh, <laughs> he still yeah. has the sea dragon's soul. We didn't take it from him? Guys, really? I was thinking about that too, but I think it's safe as long as Genus has it. Oh, okay. He took the trouble to warn Yuma of what was coming. I don't think he's our enemy. All right. Well, I guess that takes care of the sea dragon, but we still kind of need the dark dragon. Where'd that one go? Mm -hmm. That's the question. Maybe it's... Uh-oh. Was that a roar? Yes, that was. That's not good. What the heck? A monster of the Empire? What's it doing here? I have a really bad feeling. It seems that the soul of the Dark Dragon... There's no time to talk. Here it comes. I immediately into another boss battle. All right, Yuma. Take charge again. All right, I need you guys to uh, give me more attack power because we need to finish this pretty quick. Because um, we are 46 minutes in the episode, but also um, I have almost no mana. All right, he's almost done. At least the dragon just stands there and just takes it. There we go. Well, that <laughs> that was easy. All right, one thousand. Okay, that wasn't bad though. That monster was from the Empire. Its very presence means a grim fate for the Dark Dragon soul. What do you mean? Looks like the Empire took it. Oh. Crap. This is bad. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Hmm? Beatrice was in the desert. You don't think... Oh, that was the Dark Dragon Soul then, right? You believe Beatrice took the Dragon Soul? I'm not sure, but she's got to know something. We don't have anywhere else to turn. It might be worth searching her out. Yeah, she was looking for something in the desert, wasn't she? She might still be there. Let's get back to that old ship. All right. Let's do that. But we are going to do that in the next episode. So, if you guys are enjoying these videos like I am, because this episode was action-packed, please leave a like, comment, and share. That always helps out against that pesky YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to join the Moonlight Army today. Hit that bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video. If you guys want to stalk me on my social medias, the links will be in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So, take care guys. Bye-bye.